to another video. Today is going to be a prep video. I know the last one that I uploaded was a acrylic application and tip fitting. So I thought this one would go hand in hand with that. It just covers everything that you need to do in preparation for acrylics or gel or builder gel or whatever it is you're doing. So I hope you find this helpful and let's get into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my cuticle bit. And basically what I do is I use this bit to lift up the cuticles and this will help me, once I've lifted these, it will help me remove any of the dead skin around the cuticles and just get basically all the cuticle off the nail bed. Because if there is any cuticle left on the nail bed, this will cause lifting. So yeah, I'm just gonna go in and basically just to go over before I start is I'm just gonna start off from one side of the nail and go in this sort of motion, lifting up the cuticle. You basically want to be using the drill to come at this angle sort of flatter rather than like this. You're not gonna be able to lift up as much cuticle the higher you have it. You need to keep it quite flat to be able to get underneath that cuticle like that. So I'll just go in and start doing that now and show you how I do it. So I don't have my drill too high for this, just because cuticle work, obviously you don't want to cause any um, cuts or anything. So basically I just start at this side and you can see all of that dead skin coming away. You don't want to put too much pressure on it because you can damage the nail bed. You just sort of want to go in that sort of motion to pick up any dead skin and lift up that cuticle. So you can see there all of the skin that it's brought up and dead cuticle that was sat on the nail plate. I just use one of these brushes to get rid of any dead skin on there and then you can see the cuticle where it's lifted up. So then what I do is I go in with my cuticle nippers and basically just remove any of that dead skin that you can see. Just remembering to be super careful because the cuticle nippers are sharp and you don't want to cut anyone. I actually really recommend doing it on yourself because then you can sort of gauge the amount of pressure that you can use. You can just see that nipping away. Any dead cuticle.
So I've just nipped off what I can with my cuticle nippers. Then what I'm going to get is a 240 sanding band and place that on my e-file. And then what I'm going to do is I basically start from one side and you're just going to etch the nails. So I basically start from one side of the nail and go around the cuticle area. This will also help get rid of any cuticle that might still be on there. So I go around the cuticle area and then bring that down the nail. Just making sure that I get tucked in to that cuticle area just to remove any cuticle that might still be on the nail plate. You don't want to over file them and you don't want to be staying in one place for too long. So now that they've been etched, what I'm going to do is I have this little tool from um, Navy and it's basically just got a cuticle pusher on one end and then quite a, like a blade on the other. And basically what I do with this is I just go around the cuticle area and just make sure that I haven't missed any sort of cuticle or anything that is going to cause any lifting. And this blade will just pick that up. You, again, you just want to be dead careful with it. And this will pick up anything that you've missed. Like you see, can you see that? So you just want to go over with this and make sure that there's nothing on there that you've missed. And then just use the pusher to go in and push the cuticles back. So make sure they're all off the nail plate. If you do see any bits that you want to go back in and get, then it's never too late. So I've just seen a bit of cuticle that I want to nip off there. And there we go. And now I'm going to go in with my dehydrator. So this is the dehydrator I use. It's the NSI one. So I just pop that on a brush and just go over the nail plate with it. Like that. So 
then I go in with my primer. This is again the NSI one. Now, if you are struggling with any lifting, you can always do two coats of primer if you want to. So just go in and put a coat of that on. I use the primer if I am doing a set of acrylics. If I was just doing some gels, I would just dehydrate. But that is it, that is my prep done. And I would then just go in and apply the tips and go through the usual process of applying the acrylic. If you do want any advice on acrylic application and tip fitting, I will link the video that I did on that in the corner. But yeah, that is everything that I do for my prep. So there you go, guys. I hope you found that helpful. And if there is anything that you want me to go over or if you need any links to anything, just pop them down below in the comments and I will get back to you and let you know whatever it is that you need help with. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on my other socials. It's at the nail room by G on Instagram and TikTok. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.